I'm Karsten Hartel. I'm the manager of the fish collection here at the Museum of Comparative Zoology. We're standing right in the middle of the collection now. The collection holds somewhere near a million and a half specimens from all areas of the world, dating back to the Agassiz, 1850s, 1860s, uh, to even before the formation of the formal Museum of Comparative Zoology. It's a historical collection that has been built over the years and increased almost every year, depending on who is in charge. Fishes are amazingly diverse in their habitats. They range from deep in the ocean to high in the Andes mountains and lakes, coral reefs to fresh waters to very special soda lakes in Africa. They have evolved into thousands of species. There are more fish total than there are reptiles, amphibians, birds, and mammals. 30,000 species. We have a phenomenal collection of deep sea fish because of our relationship with the Woods Hole Oceanographic over the last 30 years. So we have probably the best collection of uh, midwater fishes, the things that live from about 200 meters to 1,000 meters from the Atlantic and Pacific. These are studied actively and this is one of the places where new species are still being found. Here at the museum, we probably have most of the families represented. And this allows students, faculty, and visitors from all over the world to study the various aspects of fish biology that they're interested in. I've been here for about 37 years and have been allowed to do a lot of things that most people never have. I've spent a lot of time on ships at sea, maybe a year and a half of my life on the ocean, dragging nets all night long, preserving the fish and bringing them back to the museum. And in some cases it would be fun because we're in the process of collecting these fish for the museum, we've actually bumped against a few new species that hadn't been described, and we've described them.